Hi lovelies, welcome to today's video. As you can see, I had to work at the lab today, though it's a weekend, but uh, Monday is a holiday, so I have to work in advance, see her, so that I can rest on Monday. And I thought that, why not make the video here? Because I vacated my room the whole day and I've been at the lab all this while. So, I decided to make the video from here. So please bear with me. <laughs> right, right. If you are new on this channel, my name is Grace Santo Achimizi and those personal grooming with Grace. What we talk here is all about skills, knowledge and virtues that will propel us to growth and to success and to fulfillment, you know. That's all everyone wants in life. So we need to really grow to become what we want to become. We need to fight to become what you want to become. In my school here, <laughs> whenever you are, I mean, going up and down, doing your projects, anyone that meets you says, keep fighting, keep fighting. And and I love that, you know, we have to keep fighting. Not like negatively, but in a positive way, you know. So today we will go right into what knowledge and skills, or what knowledge especially, because last week we, we talked about and um, what to do to go daily and in, i remember that in the second point i mentioned that you have to sow knowledge so today what knowledge do you have to sow to be able to grow and that's what we want to talk about today if you have not been following the series the month of october was dedicated to growth and the first time um we had the series we we spoke about how you can identify whether you are going or not and then the second video was on how to grow daily so you can so you can check on the channel and then find that video and then you can also benefit from it so let's go right into today's content so most of the times what i do personally is that i divide my life into about eight or eight or nine um, areas of my life and i try to work on those areas individually as i said in the previous videos that if you are able to daily or each day of your life balance the whole day you'll be able to be a balanced person in the long run and then you just become consistent at doing it and that's what has really helped me for a very long time i i just know that i'm so balanced every aspect none of them is tilted anywhere not relationship not career no finances, nothing. I, I just want to be a balanced um, young lady, I mean, a balanced woman. <laughs> so I write down all the areas of my life and I try to work toward all of them each day. That's what I do. And that's why I teach my mentees to also do so. Every time I start every batch of mentorship, they have to list all those areas of their life and set goals at all those areas of their life and um, i'll just mention the areas of my the areas i'm talking about and then we will see what knowledge we can gather around those areas to help us to grow and then next week god willing we'll learn about the systems and the structures that you can use to be able to make trying to gain knowledge in all the areas of your life simple for you because it's not easy it's a lot and then doing it all each day every day is a big deal so let's go right into the areas of our life so the nine areas of our life which i have listed out the first one is spirituality and i know spirituality is the most valuable one out of it for that is for me i mean it could be different for you so i have spirituality i have health i have my social life i have my relationship if i talk about relationship i distinguish it from my social life social life is friends colleagues and professional network and all of that but my relationship is my relationship with my partner that's what i mean and then i have personal development and most of the time people ask me are those are these areas no personal development for me it, it's no it's not personal development and i'll explain it to you and then i have business then i have um finances and then lastly i have contribution to society 
But for the purpose of this video, we will not um, learn any knowledge about contribution to society because you have to build yourself first and build all these aspects of your life before you can be beneficial to the society and to contribute to the society. I mean, you have to build it to understand, then you can contribute to the society. So for now, there'll be no knowledge to gain on contribution to society, but we'll do all the other ones. And then, yeah, when we go about it, you know what I'm talking about. Let's start with spirituality. You know, that's one of the knowledge that a lot of people ignore, lots and lots of people ignore, but it's so, so important because whether you like it or not, we are spiritual beings. And you have to belong somewhere. It's either you belong to A or B or C. You, you just have to belong somewhere. Because we all are spiritual beings. And for me, I know I did not create myself. I know I have a purpose. I know I have a creator. And I have to submit to that, that creator. I mean, and I came here for a purpose. I don't even know how I came here, but someone brought me here. <laughs> So just let me do what I've got to do here and and go away. That's all. So I am very I'm a very spiritual person. And if you are to one of those places you can gain knowledge is the word of God. I don't know, mine is the Bible. I don't know about yours. But the Bible is one of the sure ways to get spiritual knowledge, to get spiritual direction, to get wisdom, to get all the knowledge and experiences you learn from characters in the Bible. And Joshua 1 verse 8 says that let this book of law not depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night that you'll be successful in doing all that is written in it. And the last sentence is what touches me that when you do this, then you will be successful and very prosperous. So for us, our prosperity is derived from our obedience to the word of God. And if you really want to be prosperous, that is, that is the, actually, that is the simplest way. Just obey, trust and obey. That's it. Trust and obey. That is all. So every time with God is actually a way of gaining knowledge and I mean every time with the Bible is one way of gaining spiritual knowledge and the second one is having a quiet time with God or your personal devotion and for me it's a it's a time that God really refreshes me most of the time it's almost throughout the day and most of the videos I make I don't have to research about it just come and then I just I just make it I don't even know how to explain this one. So let's just get close to God. That's it. Let's just get close to your creator. And the last one I'll talk about is spending time listening to people who speak the truth of the word of God. Sermons and all of that is so important. It strengthens your faith. It gives you knowledge about um, some aspects of your spirituality that you have no idea about how to go about it and what the Bible is talking about, what it really means and all of that. So listening to sermons and a lot of these things help you to build your capacity in your spiritual aspects. Let's go to the second knowledge to gain every day is concerning your career. And you wouldn't want to leave that behind. Every day you should gain some knowledge. It shouldn't be some huge amounts of knowledge, but some knowledge. So if you are someone who is maybe into journalism or I mean those who are always speaking and all of that, you might want to look at building your vocabulary. So maybe every day you would want to learn one vocabulary. It's a knowledge that will go a long way to to help you in your career. Uh, maybe um, a health person, you might want to every day look at one um, one condition or one disease, just just read about it, literally, maybe on Google, something, just to know, refresh your mind on it or know the new trends in your field. For me, I'm in the food science field and what I do is to read an article. I don't read it every day, but at least read some parts and the next day I continue the same article. If I'm to use three days to finish an article, that's okay. But every time you are resting yourself with the new trends in your in your field, every day, 
every day that's what this video is about is the knowledge you gain every day not like i'm telling you the knowledge you have to gain in your lifetime no we all do that but the distinct distinction is you doing it every day so every day find something within your field and then do it it can be a course that you are pursuing a certification it can be your education that you are pursuing every day try to build on it every day try to build on it if you are maybe an undergraduate student every day read on your lecture material read on something that you have been taught every day build your career knowledge the next thing i want to talk about is what knowledge we have to learn for our social life for growth in our social life so one of the skills or the knowledge everyone should learn about social life is communication i mean good communication it's lacking almost everywhere and if you're able to build this one it in turn build yourself and then it builds your relationships and builds your social life and build your career and everything because we are almost all the time communicating with people and one of the places you can really really build your social life is on social media and i'm not surprised it's called social media but most of us we just go south on social media and we don't learn anything we just laugh and there is a lot of knowledge you can learn on social media look when you you browse on social media look at how people are answering questions look at how the reply people are giving people and what is their reaction to those replies look at your role model who is on social media someone that you really want to become check their comments what are people saying so that you know that in some years to come you become like that person the similar comments will come on your post how are you going to react to it so you start building capacity toward that building resilience build yourself toward building mental toughness because you don't have to be afraid of people's opinions so check on on those people are your templates use them now check how things are going with them what are the the new strengths about them what did they say that they might not have spoken right if you want to be a president of a country what is your president now saying that it creates a lot of um backbash or bashing from people and all of those criticism notice all of that and 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 then learn from it and then pave your way to the positive side where you can become better from that experience it, it should be happening to you before you know you have templates on social media so go learn don't be on social media just for laughs just for i mean reading people's posts and all of that people post a lot of married things and all of learn from it what did they do that this thing happened what did they not do learn from all of these things and that's what social media is there so what again did i even write the other thing i wrote is that you have to be able to learn different cultures as Part of growing yourself in your space, uh, your social space, learn different cultures. You know, in Thailand, when you say, when you ask someone, "How are you?" it's a little bit offensive. But in my country, Ghana, "How are you?" is like the issue of the day. When you greet, "Good morning," the next thing is, "How are you?" So learn different cultures so that when you meet people, you know what to say and what not to say. At least the basic things about culture. Because in Thailand, it's about what well, have you eaten or have you had lunch, have you had um, breakfast. It's it's that's that's what we used to replace. How are you from my country? And I know that in a different country, it should it should be something else. So if you want to be a global person, think global, then you should be able to learn these things. And you learn it every day. Not like every day you are learning all of those things, but in my mentorship group, I call something new knowledge. So in our new knowledge, we learn something anything any random thing that is new to us so before sometimes before i sleep you just google what is the um, most beautiful country in the world what is the most distinguished what is the most tallest mountain what's the most something that you don't know something about some culture something about social life just learn it mm -hmm. now the last group of knowledge you have to acquire is on your finances your relationship your health and then your business.
I have grouped all of them under one umbrella because they have a similar way of acquiring knowledge and I'll just pull all of them together and make it personal to them under the umbrella of personal development because it's just one way of acquiring knowledge. And the first one is books. Books. Just read books. And before that one, you have to know which aspect of your life is lacking, which aspect of your life needs improvement. Then you can know what books you have to select to read. So before the year starts or before a month starts, you are actually writing down your goals. You will do goal setting on this on this channel one of these days. But you write down your goals and your goals will inform you what you need to build within this year, within this quarter of the year. So you look at that one and then use it to select the books that you need. So that's one way of, of building yourself. So you can choose books on finances, books on business, books on health. You know books on relationship and marriage and, and start reading and for me i mostly read some chapters every day so if the book is like um maybe um, 30 pages let, let's say 30 pages and then i am reading one book in a month it means that every day i have to read one chapter so maybe before i sleep or if i have any time allowance i just most of the time it's on my phone so i just open and i read i highlight where i have to highlight and then i move on to the next steps because i have a list of things i have to do every day before i sleep so books is one of the things that you need to just engulf yourself in just be lost in it and start reading all sorts of books because it will just open up your mind to a lot a whole lot of things under all these areas i'm talking about and then when you meet people you will not first say hey you have become fat so that's that is not how to start a conversation if that's what you think start a conversation but you know how to converse you know what to say first and what to say next and what to say next so that you don't become offensive to people because of something that you said concerning them you know so let's really build ourselves in this aspect and the second thing is that listen to a lot of podcasts it could be um just messages on youtube or anywhere that you can listen to messages concerning these areas of your life concerning finances i mean brian tracy is one of the financial gurus lots of people um kiyosaki robert kiyosaki is one of these people read their books listen to their podcast and then be informed about your finances go to relationship get people who are into sharing wisdom not any kind of advice i always tell you guys not any kind of advice sharing wisdom or knowledge and then go to them and listen so every day i listen to one message about one of these areas of my life so i have a long list that i i don't have time to waste <laughs> another way you can also gain knowledge is trying to learn from mentees trying to learn from mentors learn from anyone at all how they talk how they say things how they answer questions learn from them i mean life experiences learn from your failures as you are practicing and going about like all the things that you did and someone wasn't happy about it or you offended someone just learn from it and that is how we grow and these are the kind of knowledge that can help you to grow because if you are always committing the same mistake or repeating the same thing that you are doing then you are not growing so we have to grow so take all these um, forms of knowledge i've discussed about make your own framework of how you want your day to be make a list of what you have to do each day i mean spirituality maybe you have to do a devotion and a new knowledge you have to learn something about maybe finances relationship health and the message of the day maybe you have to listen to something um, a message about something every day anything how your day will work for you or how your routine will work for you maybe you have to learn a new word every day recently i mentioned a word on this channel and my friend came into my dm and said we don't mention it like that you know <laughs> that's the kind of friend i want and i mean shout out to debbie she's a very lovely lovely friend and i so much admire her so from that time i started using um the opportunity to learn how to pronounce a word or and how to learn 
a new word every day. And then most of the times we share it on our on our page on on WhatsApp, and then we use it in sentences during our communication. And this is a kind of friend you would want to, I mean, befriend, you know. So let's keep going, and then I'll see you in my next. And then the last video for this series, which is the structures and the systems for growth. So how you can put all of these things we have discussed into structures and systems. Say that every time and every day, something is helping you to do something. You become automated. And then it's not like you are struggling to do all these things. I mean, in the beginning, you will struggle. But as long as you should be able to function properly in it. I have struggled for a long time and I'm still struggling, especially with my article, everyday reading of an article in food science. It's not easy. It's not easy. Sometimes when I'm too tired, I just I just want to sleep. And sometimes I do sleep, honestly, but we have to try. We have to keep fighting. And so then I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.